Welcome to the 4 and 6 software. I'm here to demonstrate the software program. Let's check how the program works. How to view and export Apple Mail files to PSD file format without any email client. Let's start by downloading the box for N6 software on Windows supportive system. Now, run the application and open it to learn the easiest way to view, export, and extract Apple Mail mailboxes. As you see this utility has a simplified and intuitive interface that anyone can use to achieve the task. Now, go to the open tab and you can see dual modes to upload Apple Mail data, choose file and choose folder. Click on choose folder and select the Apple Mail folder from the saved location. Wait, the software is analyzing the Apple Mail mailboxes. The tool lists all the Apple Mail folders in the software interface. Here, click on the desired Apple Mail mailbox that data you want to preview in the software window. As you can see, all the emails in the Apple Mail mailbox are listed one by one. Now, please tap on the email and get its preview in the software interface. This way you can preview the Apple Mail with all the properties and elements such as email properties, signature, sender information, and more. If the email contains any attachment file, then right-click on it, and you will find options of Open, Save, and Save All. Choose the option as per your need. The Export option gives you multiple options to convert Apple Mail messages into standard formats. An Extract tab helps you to take out email addresses, attachments, phone numbers, and more from the emails. Now, go back to the Export option and select PSD file format. Now select folder for conversion. Go to browse options and pick a location to save the final results on the system. As you see there are many options available in the software panel. So, let's first understand them and it is up to you whether you want to enable the option or not. The first is open folders after export is done. If you enable this feature, then the target folder where the output file is saved gets automatically opened after the conversion. The next one is to create empty folders, please disable this option so that you can avoid creating empty folders. The other one is to delete old folders. If you want to delete previously converted data from the destination folder, then please enable this option. Next is an include email header, we recommend you to disable this option to remove headers from your output data to reduce output file size. The last option is create individual PSD for each folder. It allows user to make a single PSD file for a single folder. Enable this option if required. Finally, go to the save button and see the live conversion from Apple Mail to PSD file. You can also see the email count exported in the PST files. Once the task gets completed, you get a successful message. Click on the OK button and go to Open Folder. That's all for this video. We hope you get a good understanding of the best Apple Mail for N6 software. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment box. To watch more for N6 software videos, please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.